hi guys welcome to my youtube channel it's your girl seraphic and today's topic is six major money mistakes i made in my 20s if you want to know six money mistakes i make in my 20s keep on watching <laughs> six money mistakes i made in my 20s number one is financially literacy not learning about finance earlier in my teenage years even before i start working for the first time in my life officially not learning about money is one of the mistakes i made because see going to high school uh, going to universities and all that see money is very important in life so learning everything and not learning about money i think you have not learned anything so not learning about how to manage money my parents not being away my uh, people around me totally a lot of people have no idea about financial literacy a lot of people have no idea how to manage money and how to invest and grow money so this is really a big problem so that's that's one of my major money mistakes that i have made but i'm glad that i made it i made it in my 20s because now looking back in my early 20s i know i missed out but it's better that in my 30s i know already about money financial literacy than knowing it in my 40s and 50s when i really need the money <laughs> and i don't have it so knowing it now knowing it now is a plus and is also a plus for my future kids because I will teach them as a baby, as a child, how to manage money, how to invest money. So yeah, financial literacy is one of my major number, my number one major fi uh, money mistakes. Yeah. So my number two money mistake is easy money is not stable. See. I used to think that when I was in my two, in my teens, in I oh uh, my uncle is giving me money, daddy is giving me money, mommy is giving me money, money is coming left, right, center. As in, I never thought that money would stop coming like that. <laughs> but now I'm a grown woman. People are asking me now to give them money. <laughs> Nobody is giving me any shikbain. <laughs> so yeah. When you are having money, don't think that money will be coming like that all the time. So save. It's very necessary. Save. So anytime you are, especially when you are a young, upcoming girl, money is coming. Everybody is trying to support you when you are in school. Save money because you will need it when you become an adult. <laughs> I'm telling you because I experienced it firsthand. There shall be a time where nobody will care. Nobody will give you any money. Even people will now be expecting you to give them. So how can you give them if you don't save? And as, as it is right now, nothing is, even, uh, nothing is even certain. Even hoping that after studies you will get a job is not certain. So there is probability that you might not get job after studying so these are things we have to think about so when they are when you are in school everybody is having pity on you giving you money don't just be eating it like a thief save it <laughs> you will need it when you are looking for a job and you don't have any money you will need it so yeah save 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 is very very important and also don't uh, invest your money in Ponzi scheme. It's not a good idea. See, MBA Forest has just closed down now in Nigeria. A lot of people were calling me, invest, invest, invest. 
I invested one time in all this uh, Ponzi investment business and my money disappeared. I decided not to do that again. And thank God I stick to my decision because I would have been among people that are crying now in Nigeria about this MBA forest. You see? All this easy make money, bring 5,000, get 20,000, get 50,000. All those things, be very careful because it's not reliable. Anything can happen. So don't do it. And don't, I'm not saying that they are not networking business that sell actual products that people buy this product or people patronize this networking business and this actual product add values to people's life is not i'm not that is not uh, uh ponzi that is networking but anything that does not sell you anything just bring money bring people it's ponzi and i advise you not to invest in it because you might invest and get your money back invest and get your money back the third one all your money that you have made you have given it back to them they will close down your money will disappear and you will start crying please don't do that to yourself okay <laughs> i did it and i regretted it so that's why i don't want you to do it listen to your big auntie listen to me okay <laughs> yes so yeah so you can invest in networking marketing but not on ponzi scheme please okay yeah my the third major money mistake that i made is uh, investing too much too soon in a business so i did i had this business idea when i was in nigeria i started like buying things to start this um i wanted to start a, a bakery business and i was investing making so much research before i now had opportunity to come abroad and all those money and investments i did so fast in this business was just a waste because i had opportunity to come abroad and i choose to come abroad instead of staying back in nigeria to do the business so investing too quick into a business is not a good idea just be doing it small small if you want to do a business be doing it small small if you see how progress or how speedy the business is going before you start investing much okay don't make my mistake don't invest too much too soon in a business that you don't even know if you want to continue or in a business that maybe if another opportunity comes up you might likely drop the business to for the another opportunity so before you invest in any business make sure that this is your life passion that nothing will come up and you change your mind before you invest too soon too too much too soon okay yeah the fourth major money mistake that I made is I didn't invest in long-term investment. So long-term investment is like this kind of investment you do in the bank. You, you every month you give like 20,000 or 10,000 depending on how much you want to be saving every month and you are leaving it there a year, you save everything and you save it back again. If you calculate 20,000 times a year, times another a year, times 10 years, you do not touch it. You, you have saved up to 2 million plus, plus the, plus the, uh, plus the investment, 1 million plus on top of it. Everything is 3 million plus. So investing in long-term businesses like is something uh, the money is coming small small but is guaranteed there is nothing that will happen that will make hey they will say that your money has disappeared or hey they are they have closed down banks now before they the banks are even allowed to open now there is a guarantee that if anything happened to the bank the government will pay the individuals back their money so it's better i do my investment in the bank the money is coming small, small, but I'm sure that my money must come than to invest in one uh, Ponzi 
company somewhere uh, all, everywhere now is forest everywhere now abm abm forest Z, uh, zzn forest uh, so this the, this business, this forest people that you don't even know when to find them if they close up their shop don't invest in such businesses invest in the bank yeah the money is coming small small you invest ten thousand every month and you are getting uh, eight percent or ten percent or uh, do such long-term businesses leave it for a year two years three years four years five years ten years than investing in uh abm forest that in, in 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 a year they will close down you don't even know where to find them so invest in things that you know and things that you understand okay don't invest in things that you don't know where to find them so invest in banks it's a secure investment than investing in one person that will just start up one thing and call it one thing and close down the next day invest in things that you know so that is one of the things i did not learn to invest in things that i know so yeah the fifth major money mistake that i made in my 20s is i didn't invest in quality things you see fast fashion fast fashion is one of the things i wasted my money on do you know that buying i don't want to mention brand but you know quality brands so when you buy quality things it lasts longer you don't wait for example now you work in an office or a corporate organization you need a good suit if you invest in a good suit it's better for you than to go to a fast fashion and every month you have to buy a new suit because you put it in the washing machine it's looking like it looks totally different from the day, from the one you bought you if if you are not live if you are not living alone you would think if somebody has come and change the, your suit <laughs> so invest in good quality brands that will last me for a very long time punch uh, shoes that I will wear for a very long time before thinking of buying a new one good bag that I will wear for a very long time before thinking of buying a new one so i regret investing in fast fashion because one two the earring is spoiled i have to throw it away and buy another one one two the the cloth the the the, the cloth the suit the armpit is already looking somehow i have to throw it away and buy another one so yeah fast fashion is one of the uh, investment is one of the things that i bought I regret not investing in good good brands. I regret investing in fast fashion. I regret buying fast fashion instead of buying good brands. So yeah, the sixth and the final major money mistake that I made is not starting YouTube earlier. See, um, earlier starting YouTube was easy and i know about youtube for a very long time but i regret not starting it earlier because i'm a, i used to be a very shy person i can't even believe myself that i'm i made a decision to start this youtube journey so yeah so i cannot say uh i i am sad that i did not sad i don't like I, at, I, at, since I started my spiritual journey, I don't let anything make me sad, but I just regret not starting it early because I would have maybe gone so far that, than where I am right now, but no regrets. Finally, I started. Finally, I'm enjoying making videos to you, my beautiful subscribers. So let's just end the video in a good note. But anything you want to do, don't wait for tomorrow. Today is the best time to do it. Okay? So, I want you all to also learn from me and not make my mistake. And start investing in long-term businesses. If you want to start a YouTube, please, with all pleasure, start now. Don't wait tomorrow. Don't wait next tomorrow. 
now is the best time to start it okay please if you also have any mistakes that you make that you want to share with us please the comment section is for you let's make this video interactive comment your experience in the comment section so other people can also learn from you and we entertain each other okay please always give me a thumbs up so youtube will see that you enjoy my content share this video to your friends subscribe if you haven't subscribed already thank you so much for your support i love you all until we see you again on my next topic bye bye bye